Greetings subscribers and other curious persons. Because someone introduced me to the 10 ungoth confessions meme, I thought for a bit of a laugh I'd give it a go. So after three days of racking my brains, I've come up with a list of 10 things that aren't gothic about my life. Firstly, makeup. I went through a brief period of wearing foundation, face paint, blusher, eyeliner, lipstick and so on, but pretty soon I defaulted to the beard and unmade up look, which given that I feel the heat somewhat and so tend to sweat around the eyes and I also wear glasses, is a decision that I'm happy I made because I wasn't really making the best of the makeup in the first place. Secondly, my mode of dress. Unless I'm dressing up to go to a party, my usual thing these days is jeans, t-shirt and a jumper. And not a really cool, obscure goth band t-shirt, but a comfortable t-shirt. Now, my clothes are black, but they're not on the face of it, gothic Victoriana, rubberized black, black PVC, or the big famous gothic leather trench coat, which I do have, but I haven't worn it for a long time. Thirdly, many years ago, I embraced the joys of comfortable shoes. I used to have a pair of really pointy goth boots, and some big clumpy goth boots but these days I much prefer a comfortable shoe that you can walk a long distance in so the only flashy vaguely gothic pointy shoes I have are a pair of slightly pointy low heels I have for playing merchants nobles and so forth in fantasy live action role play. Fourth Clubbing. I don't like clubbing. I prefer music played at a lower volume. I prefer being able to have a conversation. I prefer small amounts of expensive alcohol taken in pleasant company to large amounts of less than expensive alcohol sold at a slight markup because you're a confined market in a room that stinks of cigarette smoke and sweat. And so whilst I used to club, I gave it up some time ago and haven't missed it. Five, I don't really socialise with goths. And I don't go out of my way to avoid them. I just don't consider whether or not someone's a goth when I socialise with them. So it's not part of my social identity. I suspect some of my friends do self-identify as goths. I suspect some of them are identified by others as goths. But it's not a question I've considered for so many years that it's only making this video that I realised that I used to consider it a criteria back when I was at university. Six, I write the wrong kind of poetry. I don't write poetry about bats and cats in graveyards. I don't write neo-romantic Shelley copies. I don't write poesque screeds. I might write the occasional piece of gentle pastiche for the practice, but my poetry isn't depressing or macabre. It's just what I feel like writing at the time. Seven. I have two perky bouncy cats who aren't black. So for scraping the barrel a bit here, I own cats that aren't as gothic as they could be. So number eight, um, kind of starting to really scrape the uh, oh, my feet don't have pointed arches. Now the gothic movement in cathedrals and architecture is defined by the 
use of the pointed arch and I don't have any so I'm not gothic architecturally speaking and number nine um, I'm not descended from an Eastern Germanic tribe I'm descended from mostly a uh, pre-Germanic stock as far as I know so Picts various Irish bits and so forth um, number 10 a little shout out to the old school um, goth rules I don't deny I'm a goth if asked and for those of you who know where that comes from you're probably old enough to have made your own accommodation with it so I don't think that one's going around anymore but uh, due to all of the others the chance of me actually being asked if I'm a goth or having it shouted at me in the street these days are so small that it's only by saying that I don't deny it that we find out that I have an answer at all and as you can see I'm a miserable failure at not being a goth not necessarily because I am or am not a hardcore pure uber goth but because I'm a little bit too much of a well there isn't a hard boundary to these things it's a whole bunch of different aesthetics moralities and styles bundled together that over the course of the oh crikey decades since it came in in the 1980s has uh, become something very different from what it was at another point so I think I'll uh, trail off there before I start to ramble even less coherently on the subject of incoherence so toodaloo